This is the book of Revelation, chapter 18, and verse 1. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and has become the habitations of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit, and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. Revelation chapter 18, verse 1 and 2. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Chakwadash, double honors to our venerable apostles and others at Great Millstone who were well, and peace and blessings to the Lord's elect, the house of David. All right, there's a brother Aharon coming back at you with another lesson. Lord willing to be edifying, uplifting unto the elect. All right, and um, you know, we're in those times, man. We are in those times where very soon, all right, that, that prophecy of the book of Revelation, the 18th chapter, will come to fruition. Okay, and we're building every single day closer and closer, all right, to the end of this age, which will be signified, all right, uh, or let's say accomplished, all right, this age will be will be accomplished, all right, at when America Babylon the Great, all right, is taken out of place, man, all right, completely destroyed, and that will signify Esau's rulership, all right, being destroyed as well, okay? Now, I want to go into this real quick here, all right, and um, highlight why, or another reason why America all right, is on her way to being completely nuked, all right, completely destroyed by thermonuclear fire. Okay, now you got people in the world who don't see it like that, and that's okay, because for some reason they've been, they've, 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 they, 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 the God of this world has blinded them, all right, from the truth. Okay, and 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 that goes for the two thirds of our people as well. All right, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai has used the left hand side energy, all right, through Esau Edom, all right, to to blind our people and to blind the rest of the world so they could be destroyed. All right, alongside America. Okay. Now it says here, it says satanic temple goes after abortion bans. All right, now only in America are you going to be hearing some shit like this. All right, only in America, man, where you hear something like a satanic temple or a, a, a Freemasonic lodge. Like that's, that's, that's a normal thing. You see, that's a normal thing. Only in America will you hear them, all right, give so-called pedophiles rights by giving them a different name. Like they want people to sympathize with these devils, with these demons, all right, calling them uh, maps, maps. You know why they're saying they're, these are maps? Because it's finally coming out that a lot of these so-called governors and mayors and presidents and prime ministers and high so-called officials, all right, in society are engaged and tied into some type of pedophilia activities, man. A lot of these so-called rituals that they do is all pedophilia. Why do you think they're targeting the children lately? Because now the truth is coming out, so they have to find a way so it's, it doesn't look as bad as it really is. All this drag shows, and uh, inviting children into all the satanic things that's going on around the world, okay? And then you fast forward a couple months ago from, from a few years back, all right, to a couple months ago, what was happening? Now they're talking about what? Um, you know, the, the benefits of so-called microchipping your children. <laughs> all right. So we're seeing where this thing is all headed to, man. Pushing this idea of children could have freedoms and children could do whatever the hell they want to do and so on and so forth. All right. So this agenda. All right. This is all satanic, demonic energy that's going on right now, man. That's why the Apostle Paul all right, tells in the book, of, uh, tells us in the book of Ephesians that we, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. OK, but against what principalities All right, against against uh, uh, demonic energies, satanic high level energies in high places, man. OK, and this is one of them. All right. Every single day when we're bringing out this truth, this is the kind of shit that we're fighting against. So if you're coming against us, that means you're coming against the will of the heavenly father. And you certainly. All right. C coming in the spirit of Satan, man. All right. An adversary. Okay, and guess what? The truth. And you're going to be destroyed for that. Anyone who sees the things that we do, all right, laboring in the, in the word of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, especially in these last days, and you got a problem with it, you're just nothing but a demon. And the most are going to destroy you. Okay? Because you just don't have the eyes to see. All right? It says the Salem-based satanic temple, of course, Salem, right? 
all right, is uh, is suing I uh, Indiana and Idaho in federal court over their abortion bans, arguing they violate the religious rights of people in those states. <laughs> okay, driving the news as the Satanic Temple filed its complaint against Idaho on Friday, a week after filing a similar one in Indiana. Both states have conservative governors who support new uh, near total abortion bans. Meanwhile, the temple's home state of Massachusetts restricts abortions after 24 weeks with some exceptions. Why it matters? This is the temple is one of several organizations suing to block state laws that almost entirely ban abortions. The temple, a non-theistic religious group that often gets confused for the Church of Satan, has used religious freedom arguments in a similar lawsuit challenging Texas's abortion ban earlier this year. The other side, a spokesperson for Indiana Attorney General Todd Rokita told the Indiana Indianapolis Star, the U.S. Supreme Court decided abortion isn't protected under the Constitution. All right. Quote, this new lawsuit merely offers weaker arguments for the same discredited right. End quote. The spokesperson said. <laughs> Details. In latest lawsuits, the temple argued each state's ban violates the rights of people who took contraceptives and still became pregnant, denying the right of an, quote, involuntary pregnant woman to engage in satanic abortion ritual. What the, f what the F? <laughs> oh, man. And and that so-called satanic abortion ritual is all going to uh, sacrifice and to Molech. Okay. They, they, they do these things. When you go back a few years back with the whole Clinton emails, the, the Clinton and Podesta emails, whatever, they were going into all that shit. All right. It was being exposed and now they're trying to cover it up and giving these niggas rights by changing their names. You, you, it's like, yo, oh man. At the end of the day, all right, Babylon the Great, America, however you spin it, however you look at it, you're going to be, this country is done, okay? You see how Russia now, you know you know what Russia's talking about. Putin is out here talking about uh, the, the satanic West. Now the word Satan is, in, is, is, is coming into, into play, Okay. Like we're talking, oh, we're, we're not just saying, oh, Satan, no, we're, we're talking about the demonic satanic energy that's coming out. It's, it's out in the forefront now. And these other countries can see it. Okay. The Lord said what? Uh, that, that shame shall cover thee. That's the shame right there, man. Okay. Look at, look at America. Look at the leadership of this country. Look at, look at the, the, uh, the, 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 the feeling of hopelessness in this country. Look at the darkness, the, 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 the wickedness. All right. Everywhere you go, every corner you turn is all signaling painful times ahead. All right, for this country and the people in it. Russia is getting gear to bomb, all right, <laughs> the hell out of America, man, very soon. All right, I believe today uh, uh, Putin just um, activated the Poseidon, if I'm not mistaken, which is a, a, a nuclear uh, submarine missile, uh, a, a nuclear missile submarine, whatever. All right. So there's a lot of things going on, all right, that are all pointing to the destruction of America, Babylon, the Great. And not just for any reason, but it's wickedness, all right? It's wickedness, it's lies, it's deception. And you Americans are going to have to take taste, all right? You're going to get the first cup first. You, you, you're you going to taste it first, okay? And then the missile's going to drop, all right? Because a lot of you are still in that in that, you know, how America used to be. You know, America is, is running on her reputation right now, okay? And, and her reputation is being tainted by the day, okay? She's not that great country she used to be. Why do you think? Why the hell do you think Trump came in saying that let's make America great again, okay? Why do you think this nigga Biden coming out talking about, uh, 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 uh you know, uh, it's a, uh, it's a, what, 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 what's his running uh, thing? Uh, uh, build back better, <laughs> okay? So the past two so-called uh, presidents are all indicating that America is at a low point and they're trying to rebuild her back. But the scripture tell you in Jeremiah that what that uh, uh, um let me let me see if I can get that real quick. Okay, <laughs> she's not healed, man. America would not be healed. Okay, get that real quick. All right, um, there's a book of Jeremiah, chapter fifty-one and verse nine. It says, "We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go, everyone, into his own country." For her judgment reacheth unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. Okay? So the judgment is going to be what? That that, that thermonuclear destruction that's coming. 
Okay? Hmm. It says the temple's ritual includes the tenet, quote, one's body is invi invi inviolable, subject to one's own will alone. All right, that's that do what thou will spirit. Okay, meanwhile, the scriptures tell you that, that, that your temple, which is your body, all right, belongs to the Heavenly Father. Okay, so we're not supposed to defile our temple, but these devils are saying, no, 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 that's your own thing. You could do whatever you want to it. All right, that's them opening up the gateway so they could chip you. That's why they're saying that. It's your own body. Don't feel disrespected. Don't feel like, you know, you're doing anything wrong, you know, doing away with all sorts of morality and fear, okay, of consequences, man. That's one thing this country teaches. They don't, they don't teach you the fear, all right, of consequences, all right? There's do what thou will spirit. I don't give a fuck. Everything is a joke. You notice that, especially lately. No, but you don't, you don't see that many people who are serious anymore, especially in the most serious time there is. Everything is a goddamn joke. You got grown ass people doing funny little shit just for shits and giggles to be on TikTok. People can laugh about it, taking serious situations and making fun out of it. Making a joke out of it. Hmm? Everything is, is a joke now. Grown ass people acting like kids. Just so they could get a whole bunch of views and people to like them. It's crazy, man. It's, it's, it's out of control this place how, how things are going, man. Alright? And they're about to get a rude awakening. You'll see. Okay? You'll see. It says a temple accused the states of violating the 13th Amendment. Discriminating against impregnated contraceptive users. And the state's own religious uh, religion protections. The temple also accused the states of un unconstitutionally taking the property of involuntary pregnant women um, without just without, without just compensation, noting that people get paid thousands of dollars to be surrogates per court documents. It says what they're saying: supporters of the Dobbs decision, which effectively struck down Roe v. Wade, have woken a sleeping giant among women politically. And have stirred up a hornet's nest of legal issues. James Mac, uh, McNaughton, an attorney representing the temple, tells Axios. <laughs> oh, James McNaughton. What an idiot. It says Supreme Court Justice Neil um, Gor Gorsuch. You, it says Gorsuch, you want a national debate on abortion? Congratulations, you have one. And... Um, Right, it goes on and on and on and on, but ultimately, the end result is America is going to be destroyed, period. I ain't going to be no, well, we think this and when, nah, look, this place is finished, this place is done. We're just coming out and telling you things that you should know, okay, so you could be better prepared for it, all right? Let me read some more of this real quick, okay, um, right here, I want to get this real quick, okay? Uh, this is a book of Revelation, chapter 18. I'm going to jump down to uh, verse verse 8. Okay, it says, Therefore shall her plagues come in one day. All right, America, your plague is coming in one day. And that plague is talking about what? The destruction. Okay. It says, Morning. It says, and uh, it says one day, death and mourning and famine. And she shall be utterly burned with fire. Right? For strong is the Lord power who judgeth her. Okay. And we're, we're telling you, all right, based on your actions and what you, you've done in the past, what you're doing now and what you plan to do, that's what's going to result in your destruction because you're going against the rules of nature. You're going against what the Heavenly Father has set up as righteousness, okay? And that will always result in you getting hurt. When you go against the rules of nature, you pay, okay? You get punished. It says, and the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her, I right, saw about what these other nations, okay, who came in league with America, Babylon the Great, whether it's by political uh, uh, um, ways, militarily or financially, okay, religiously, whatever it is, okay, you have committed fornication, all right, and lived deliciously with her because you benefited from our downfall, okay? You you had to be in league, all right, with America, Babylon the Great to receive certain benefits, okay? And guess what? When those benefits are gone, which is what well, America being your cash cow, everybody comes over here, sets up their businesses, Make money off a of jig and then go back home and enjoy it. Okay, give a cut to the government and then go and enjoy it in their own land. Right? They're going to bewail her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning. Standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come. 
Okay, and the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her, for no man buyeth her merchandise anymore. Right, and that's happening right now. Okay, the dollar and all these different things. A lot of people are like, nah, I don't want to deal with America no more. I don't want to deal with America no more. But ultimately, when she's when she doesn't exist anymore, ain't no business gonna be done. You're not gonna be worried about oh tariffs and and trade deals and 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 no 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 none of that. All right, petrol dollar, no more, no more. Okay, verse 12, it says the merchandise of gold and silver and precious stones and of pearls and of fine linen and purple and silk and scarlet and all thine wood and all manner of vessels of ivory and all manner of vessels of precious wood and of brass and iron and marble and cinnamon and odors and ointments and frankincense and wine and oil, fine oil and fine flour <laughs> and wheat and beasts and sheep and horses and chariots and slaves and souls of men okay and souls of men slaves and souls of men okay so when you have a, a damn so-called satanic uh, uh um a, a, a club or a satanic empire whatever okay these are the results okay they openly all right uh, uh um talk about ch child sacrificing onto molech which in, in, in modern day terms is called so-called abortions. Okay? That's what it is, man. When you go into the history, okay, of of of, of um, sacrificing unto Molech, all right, it's written all throughout the scriptures. Okay? But Esau, Edom, all right, knowing who he is, all right, he brings back these things that were written uh, hundreds of years ago. All right, he studies these things and then brings it into um, modern day terms, but he switches the names. But he, the, the, the energy still stays the same because you're still carrying the same rituals and still, still saying the same uh, new uh, um, seances and, and, and get into the spirit. It might have a different name, but it's the same spirit that's that's behind it. OK, so it's going to result in the same damn thing. OK, everything is, uh, is, 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 is play on. They play on things. OK, like the word Molech, you can spell it M-O-L-O-C-H or M-O-L-E-C-H. Right? It's still the same. It's just you spell it different, but it's still the same deity. Okay, so that's what I mean by they switch up the names, but you're still carrying the same energy. Okay? But hey, hey ultimately the most high how by Shimia is, is exposing these these devils for who they are. That yeah, they, they're not a God fearing country, neither do they fear God or worship the most high. They're the devils that the Bible speaks of, and they're gonna be destroyed. Alright? They're being exposed so they could be destroyed. Alright? So I'm going to leave it off there, Lord willing, you've been edified. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakhal Kodash, the water Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, and until next time, Shalom.